just wanted to say that the physical release of my webcomic Unfamiliar is up for pre-order right now. Hey everybody, it's Lavender Town, and today I'm going to be reviewing my absolute most used and most favorite art supplies from this year. Um, and uh, please excuse my voice, I am a little bit sick. <laughs> but um, starting off, I want to talk about Crescent's Render No Show Through Paper. Um, I saw this online and I was a little skeptical because I have spent a lot of money on sketchbooks that are supposed to have, you know, really heavy duty paper, multimedia, they're supposed to handle markers. Um, and so many of them just don't. The marker still bleeds through like crazy and even the paper starts like you know, changing texture or having trouble when you overlay too much marker over top. Um, now to show this, I'm going to be using XB Pen's alcohol marker kit. They very kindly sent me a huge box of them um, alongside some other really exciting stuff we're going to be reviewing later in the video. Um, but uh, I wanted to pick a nice dark color and do multiple passes to make sure it's like really smooth and really dark. This is what looks best, um, I think, with alcohol markers to make sure it's not looking streaky at all. Um, and as you can see, it doesn't show through at all until the other page, um, which is pretty insane, <laughs> honestly. I honestly kind of started gaslighting myself and I was like, maybe it doesn't usually transfer that badly anyway. So I took out my normal sketchbook just to remind myself of what paper usually acts like with a marker. And yeah, it's pretty dramatic. I <laughs> even had the purple showing up on the page across from it. Um, and it's pretty, it's pretty liberating to be able to use marker colors um, sort of over each other as many times as you want. You can build up these like overlay layers, which remind me more of digital and can create create some interesting color palettes. Um, so I really went ham with this and tried to like put the paper through as much of a pressure test as I possibly can. Um, I have been absolutely loving drawing in the sketchbook. I really like using color and um, it's really fun to just be able to use it and know that you're not like, you know, <laughs> using up twice as much paper as you really need to because it's bleeding through like crazy. So here it is with multiple layers of marker over itself and as you can see there are there's like a little bit of freckling i would call it like little speckles of pigment that come through but it's not anything that would actually stop you from even using that other page it's not something that you notice when you draw over it again so you can really fill up the sketchbook all the way um and again just as a reminder like here is what normal paper does even with the lightest touch of light marker colors I know it might seem like a small thing, but I swear there's something so cool about being able to flip through your sketchbook and having fully colored illustrations on both sides of the paper. I just think it's really neat and this sketchbook wasn't that expensive either, so I think I'm going to be buying these from now on. Next up is my favorite pencil of the year. This is a Blackwing matte pencil. Uh, Blackwing has a couple different versions of this pencil, but they all have this cool like horizontal uh, eraser in the back. The thing I like so much about the Blackwing matte is that it is a little bit more matte and it's very, very dark. Um, it's a softer pencil, so you can get these really strong dark blacks um, and really build up a lot of shadow in your drawing, which I think is so cool. Um, but it's not like a completely soft, like fall to pieces charcoal style pencil. Um, comparing it just to like your standard like school supply pencil, um, you can see that there's it's more like grayish and much shinier, which um, I don't like especially when you're trying to like draw something and, and make shadowy parts then you know it just starts to look really like reflective and it doesn't make it look as good. Usually I'm strictly a mechanical pencil kind of girl it's just a lot more convenient but um, in this case when it comes to drawing actual like pencil drawings not something I'm going to be inking over I really prefer this Blackwing pencil and the more I use it the more I like it honestly though I will say that the eraser is not the most amazing. Um, the other thing I love is that uh, Blackwing also makes a special sharpener for these pencils and this is maybe even more the star of the show. It's a two-part sharpening system and so basically you sharpen it um, on the one side first uh, and it just makes it kind of like elongated like uh, it's not as stubby as a normal pencil but you'll see that it's actually not very sharp at the lead part 
then you go over to the second side and that is when you make it like insanely needle sharp um, and it can create quite an amazing iconic um, sort of pencil tip that can go incredibly fine details like it's 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 really really nice to use and I just love sharpening it honestly um, look at those extremely fine lines you can do with this extremely soft pencil it's just kind of insane um, and yeah I just really like it they make a lot of different versions of it. There's a harder version that is more designed for like architects, I think. Um, and it's originally a Japanese brand, but for artists, I would recommend the matte. Um, it's their darkest one, I believe. Um, and it definitely makes it easier to do like delicate shading and that kind of thing while also allowing you to do uh, details. Um, I really like turning it on its side and like adding in shading that way. You can kind of get in some nice soft, very like graphite-y uh, shadows into your drawing, which is something I am not very good at with a normal pencil. I think they're usually just too hard and waxy, um, whereas this one you can be very, very delicate with it and be right there on the edge of it and it leaves just this like sort of soft, smooth, very pencil-y kind of um, shadow. Uh, and yeah, it's it's really fun to use. Honestly, um, <laughs> you might have to be very like into drawing and the arts and stuff to even really notice what the difference is with a black wing pencil. But for me, all these small, subtle little improvements and little changes to the design, um, particularly with the sharpener, make it really <laughs> worth using over a regular pencil. And on the digital side, I'm going to be talking about the Artist 16 pen display. This is a pretty new uh, screen tablet from XP Pen. Um, now, as you guys know, I am a big fan of XP Pen. I've been using their tablets pretty much exclusively for years now, and they've partnered with me for this video. So they sent me like tons and tons of tablets um, to show you and review. And uh, this has already become my everyday tablet again, and I'll explain why here. Um, um, one big exciting change is that there's now like color accents on these tablets so you can fit them to your aesthetic like look at this pink tablet with my pink like gamer setup I just love it um, and then they have this like sagey green color that perfectly matches my work setup um, I'm I'm just <laughs> as someone who loves aesthetics this just really speaks to me um, here's the one in blue um, and this is the biggest size of this model which is the 16 it has these little buttons on the side so there's actually like 10 of them um, you can really add a lot of shortcuts which help a lot with uh, speeding things up and if you don't want your hand on the keyboard all the time doing all your shortcuts um, there's a very lightweight pen that comes with it and uh, it also comes with the possibility of getting a golden ticket because they're doing a big 17 year anniversary and basically what this means is if you find one of these in your um, tablet when you buy it that means that you're gonna get essentially a full refund and you'll get the tablet for free so it's kind of a fun little thing that can possibly happen in. Um, here are all the sizes and the colors together. As you can see, it goes quite small. There's actually a 10 inch screen tablet, which is the smallest I've ever seen. Um, it's completely adorable and I really, really love the accent colors. All the visual stuff aside, like the color and the size, the actual reason that I've been sticking with XP Pen and I've been using their tablets exclusively, even though I've tried all the other brands, is actually more to do with what's inside the tablet and what's inside the stylus. Now the stylus has this little like computer chip in it, it's called the X3 Smart Chip, and basically what it's doing is it's replacing the spring that is inside a lot of styluses. If you've ever taken apart a stylus, a lot of them will have a spring inside, which will um, help the pen like know how hard you're pressing. Back when I used uh, Wacom tablets, I actually dropped my stylus on the hard concrete floor and it exploded and I actually saw the spring for myself. Um, but the good thing about not using a spring is that the spring is actually a very breakable component or it just like wears out. So having this like higher tech, less analog uh, solution of a chip instead of the spring not only will make your stylus last like twice as long, but also it's just noticeably more sensitive. Um, this is the main reason that I switched to XP Pen permanently is because 
The tablets that I had been using before, they all had latency, like they were a little laggy, and it just didn't feel like drawing with an actual pen or a pencil in real life. Um, not only because of the lag, but also because like you had to press down a little bit harder to actually get it to acknowledge the stroke. Like you couldn't be super, super delicate with it. Um, the <laughs> X3 chip makes it so that you barely have to touch it and it will acknowledge that there's a line being put down. You know, it's extremely sensitive and um, it's also just like very very smooth it does exactly what you're asking it to do basically with your movements and that makes such a big difference when you're drawing all the time like I am you just want it to be as close to the experience of like drawing with traditional tools as possible and not constantly be reminded that you're working with something that is digital um, and that's the main reason why I'm like such a <laughs> ride or die for XP pen so big thanks to XB Pen for sending me all of these so that I could review them. I absolutely love them and congratulations on their 17th anniversary. I think this is the best possible time to buy a XB Pen tablet if you're in the market because they're having a huge anniversary sale. You can also get a golden ticket which would get you your tablet for free. And there's also a promo code that you can enter uh, that will also get you some additional uh, percentage off. Um, it's Lavender XP. The slogan of the anniversary is Dare to Be You, and they're doing tons and tons of different like giveaways, drawing contests, and stuff like that on their social media, so follow them if you're interested in any of that. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I highly recommend all of the things I shouted out in this video. I draw constantly, so I've tried pretty much everything it feels like, and these are my favorites at the moment. Let me know what your favorite art supplies are in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you to my wonderful patrons including Liv Liv, Salty Jackrabbit, Fukuro Ko, Noose Milk, Raven's Crow, Sauce-a-Lot, Harold Bird, Jabber Dabber Doo, Gender Was Stolen, For Spookable, Ah, it's Jamal! Kay, Rodrigo, Mumo, Kadaria, Deadly Nightshade Art, Astral Fox Art, Lilia Lur, The Expressive Poker Face, Tsubaki, Michael Lavali, Cutie Pie, Rune Raincrow, Rainwater Pearls, Ice Cream Pal, Cola, JJ Jade, and of course, Libla Blah Blah.